Hi, this is More Holistic. How are you doing today, family and sisters? Life is good for me, life is good for you. Great. Today's topic, I'm going to be talking about patriarchy. And what is patriarchy? That's male dominance. Men running the show, <laughs> like they're doing today. <laughs> okay, so basically, um, my question is male dominance, is it a natural state of the human society or is it a cultural construct? Hmm, something made up over time out of uh, different circumstances. Well, as I was gathering information, I came across uh, that at one time, uh, people were hunters and gatherers. The guys were the hunters and the females were the gatherers because they had pregnancy. You know, they could hunt too, but once they got pregnant, they couldn't hunt anymore. So they stayed around the, the hut or the home and picked berries and started, you know, little small uh, uh, gardens and uh, whatnot around the environment and, uh, and taking care of children because pregnancy would slow them down. So they basically had to stay around uh, the home. Uh, raising the children, domesticating the animals, uh, weaving and clay and forming clay and etc. So basically once uh, society um, uh, formed a surplus of vegetables and whatnot, you know, they started to get into farming and to settle down more. They had surplus and resources. And then at that time, uh, since men were out, you know, had a lot of practice building their muscles and their bodies are built that way, they had more power in them so that they were able to uh, more physically stronger than women. So when there was maybe a war or something, they would go out and fight against any other clan that may be coming in to take over their territory. So as time went on, there was a shift, uh, you know, like uh, that's why you... And then through, through farming, they found out, you know, that male uh, animals, you know, where the babies started to come from. So the whole concept, they figured out that men played a more important role in a woman getting pregnant. Because at one time, they just thought everything came from the woman. You know, so once they started getting into agriculture and seeds started to grow and religion and whatnot, and, uh, you know, resurrection and growing and birth, they started to understand more, comprehend and then that's when the power shift started to go towards uh, patriarchy. And they started to uh, inherit land through the father, to pass it on to the son and son. And they started to, uh, to uh, celebrate each other more and give uh, kudos to other men. So, and then a lot of times once they would have war with different uh, clans and tribes and kingdoms for the uh, acquisition of territory and property, um, uh, a lot of uh, slavery started, you know, uh, you have one group fights the others and they, the women become the spoils of war. So they would take, the, you know, kill off all the men and take the women back and make them slaves, servants, and uh, uh, have babies for that particular tribe. So as time goes on, that's what happened. Now, um, hmm, it's kind of interesting that that would come up and it'd be that way, but that's the way it, it turned out to be. So that's how it started. Uh, of course, uh, there's different, that's basically what people are going by, with, by anthropologists and stuff that they've uh, dug up and whatnot. So, um, yes. So yeah, patriarchy, which male dominance is a social construct uh, and it was developed over time. But you know, as I'm reading from this book here, it's a, um, as subordination of women by men provided the conceptual model for the creation of slavery as an institution, so the patriarchal family provided the structural model. Okay, so basically, um, slavery created um, the conceptual model for an institution. So, and patriarchy was uh, provided the structural model. Basically what that's saying is that people say, well, the nuclear family is it's natural. That's the way it is. The man is supposed to lead. Yeah, that's what they say. But actually uh, what that does is set up oppression and domination and uh, exploitation of people. Because basically, if you look at, just say, United States history, that the, uh, the, the, the um, dominant society that came in and... Uh, 
created genocide over the uh, Aboriginal people that were here. They were saying that the the uh, non black male was in charge. He was the head of the household. He was the, give all the shots, call all the shots. And the uh, pale female, she had no rights. She just took orders and her children, she told them what to do. So basically he, would, he bossed them around, told them what to do. So they based the whole system on that. Like, you know, saying that uh, indigenous people were, you know, they were doing us a favor because we were savages and we were children. We had a childlike mind. And they need to tell us what to do because that's what God said. You know, they set up the whole. So that whole nuclear family set up the system of oppression worldwide, uh, imperialism, colonialism, capitalism. So question when people say, oh, you know, family, you know, man is the head of household. Yeah, OK. See how far that's brought us today. But, you know, that's the way it has been. It's been learned in, in the process of, of um a process of conditioning. So I said all that to say that uh, here's a, uh, you know, to go on, here's another passage that you might find interesting too. It's pretty good. It says, the division of women into respectable women who are protected by their men and disreputable women who are out in the street unprotected by men and free to sell their services has been the basic class division of women. You see that today when you go to the churches, they'll say, oh, you don't, a lady, a good woman gets a bad woman, uh, what do you call it, um, lady versus Jezebel, that's in the Bible, that's the cause of division of labor, so they can further exploit women, and then they're always competing against each other to get the, the uh, desirable male that will protect them, basically, uh, from other men killing them and murdering them. <laughs> Okay, you, you tell me about that. Figure that one out. And here's another passage. Yeah, the name of this book here is called, you might want to pick this up, The Creation of Patriarchy by Gerda, Gerda Lerner. It's pretty good. I ran across this. But basically she's saying here, the gender definition of sexual deviance marks a woman as not respectable, which in fact consi consigns her to the lowest class status possible. Women who withhold heterosexual services, such as single women nuns, are connected to the dominant male in their family or of origin or through him gain access. So in other words, if they're not married and they're, you know, say they're single or a nun, they would get all their resources from the father, father uh, clan. Of course, that wouldn't apply to uh, mm -hmm. African-Americans because most of our fathers didn't have wealth like that to pass on. And so that's pretty interesting, nonetheless. So basically, um, so the question is, is patriarchy a cultural construct? Cultural construct? Answer, yes, it is. <laughs> and uh, is male dominance, oh yeah, so, so yeah, male dominance is not the natural state of human society. It's all a culture con concept, I meaning it was all created and devised by men along the way, knowing that they can get a little bit more power and they can have more wealth if they dominated and then they uh, created the propaganda and all the literature and the religions and, and whatnot and all economic factors that they should be in charge. And they brainwash us into believing that. So... So what's the solution to that? I would say the solution to that for women, especially us sisters, you know, uh, melanated sisters, highly pigmented sisters, sisters, um, that we should be more in cooperation with each other, try to cooperate with each other, get along with each other, help each other out, have, form alliances and help each other out mm -hmm. instead of being in competition for male and uh, male admiration or to be uh, so protected by men so you know but you know do whatever you want this is just my opinion this is things i ran across uh you know so you know that's all i have to say is just try to get along with each other and cooperate with each other communicate with each other and you will have a better life like it or not so until next time give me a thumbs up you can give me some comments if you disagree or agree if you have some more information that i don't have let me know okay 
So more holistic, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, subscribe, have a happy life, happy day. And that's right, work together, work together. Signing off, family. Take care, sisters. Bye-bye.